So in order to demonstrate stack views, um, I've set up a very basic set of labels, uh, switches, and text views here. I've used, I've just grabbed them from the object library. I've done text fields, switches, and then we've seen labels before. You can see over here in my document outline, you can see a list of all the things that I've added. And if I wanted to click one quickly, I could do that from there as well. So notice that I haven't set any constraints. I haven't done much formatting. We're going to do all that with, by the use of stack views. So the first thing we're going to do is phone number and this text view go together. This address and this one goes together, as does this. So I'm going to actually embed each of these in the stack view. And I'm just going to click my mouse and drag. So I select both of these. And this button down here, I choose embed in stack view. And notice that some things happen. First of all, uh, this changes, it shrinks to the size of this label. And that's because of the alignment. So I'm going to first change that to fill so that both objects fill the stack view. And again, it shrinks to the biggest element right, right there. When you click on a stack view, you click on the attributes inspector, you can change whether the axis is vertical or horizontal, the alignment and distribution, and then the space between the things. I'm actually going to set the space to zero for right now so that they're very close to each other. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for these. I'm going to select them both, click Embed in Stack View, change the alignment to Fill, and change the spacing to zero. And finally, the same for the name and its text field. And hopefully you can see that if I were to try to do constraints for every single one of these elements, it would be very, very tedious as I'd have to do constraints for this label, constraints for this switch, constraints for this, and that stack views are going to make that a lot easier. So notice that all of these three stack views were oriented vertically, so one on top of the other. This one, however, I want horizontally, side by side. So when I click on embedded stack view, Xcode is pretty good about figuring out that I want it horizontal, so I'm going to leave that. Since these three are the same, I'm actually going to further embed those in another stack view. So I can have stack views within stack views. And you see that, again, they shrink to the smallest one, or the largest one. I'm going to put fill, and they're all going to fill. And the spacing is at 41. Let's shrink that for right now. I might come back and change that later. But let's make that 8. So they're a little bit closer. Actually, 10. I like even numbers. But notice you can change these over in the Attributes Inspector. Now, one other thing we're going to do is we are going to embed all of these three items in another stack view. So I'm just going to drag around those, embed in stack view. And notice that Xcode wasn't very good about figuring this out this time. It made it horizontal. So I'm just going to go ahead and change it back to vertical. And also notice that when it did that, it has student information done at the beginning. That's OK. We're just going to go to our document outline. And you can see the stack view has two other stack views in it. And we're just going to drag student information up to the top. OK, so now that we have everything embedded in a stack view, let's go ahead and uh, change my big stack view to fill so it fills these in. And the spacing is zero. Let's give them, uh, let's put it in 20 and we'll see how that, that looks a little bit better because now it puts in spaces between this item, this item, and this stack view. Let's go ahead and add some constraints to this stack view. I'm going to go ahead and center it horizontally in the container. Actually, I want to hold off on doing that for right now. Let's, I'm going to, it's probably easier to do this in the document outline. I'm going to hold the control key from this and drag to my view. And I'm going to choose top space to safe area. And notice it put a constraint in here. And I'm going to make that constant 10. I want it close to the top. Let's go ahead and check out how that looks in the orientation. Well, you can see it's pretty good. It's near the top. But it doesn't 
look centered at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to have this stack view fill the width of my phone or my device. So I'm going to make sure stack view is selected. I'm going to click this button and I'm going to make it 10 away from each of the two sides. Notice these are now highlighted red. I'm going to add those two constraints. Notice that the red color went away on my stack view, which says that I have no auto layout issues. Now when I change the orientation, it fills the whole screen. And it looks a little bit better. The one thing that it doesn't do is student information is to the left-hand side. Well, that's easy to fix. I'm just going to make sure I select my label. And I'm going to choose Center in the Attributes Inspector. And now just double check it. That looks much better. And just to see what it would look like on a phone, I'm going to go ahead and run it on my simulator. I'll take a second to build. And it looks pretty good. I can use the switch. I could type in my fields. If I hit the command and the, the right arrow, I can see that it looks pretty good in this position. It's the right amount of distance away from the screen. And so it looks good in both orientations. So by using stack views, we can greatly simplify the layout of our um, user interface.